Hi everyone, this will be a brief video detailing the requirements for your course project, which is a presentation for HPE 327, Physiology of Exercise. This is Dr. Michael. So this project is designed to allow you to have an in-depth an in-depth research of an area of exercise physiology of your choice. So if you take a look in um, our course under course project, you can see that I have some suggested topics that is just to get you started. Remember, it has to be related to exercise physiology. Um, if you choose a topic that is not listed, um, which you are more than welcome to do, please run it by me so that I can approve it before um, you complete the project. Your project should include at the minimum an introductory slide thorough explanation of the history of your topic and why it is relevant to exercise physiology today, the purpose of your topic, so why is it important, um, the effect on health or sport performance, um, relevance to the population of choice. So you will be required to pick a population here. Is that older adults? Is that high school athletes? Is it elite athletes? Um, athletes with disabilities and so on. Um, again, these are suggestions. You may add or pick a different population if you'd like. Future predictions in your topic area. So why is it important to continually study this topic? One thing that comes to mind is concussions. We know a lot more in 2022 about concussions than we did um, 20 years ago and why it's important. Of course, you know, equipment has evolved and so on. So this is an example of, you know, forward thinking and why it's important to continue studying um, some of these areas. So of course, in that case, let's say concussions wouldn't be your topic. It would be the physiology um, of what might lead to a concussion as a result of poor sport performance, um, inadequate performance, etc. So you also need a reference slide. Presenting your project. You are going to submit this to me as a link, uh, a video link. So your project will, can be, will be completed in presentation format. Um, I'd like you to be creative. You're not, you don't have to be married to a PowerPoint. You can use Prezi, web page design, etc. A minimum of five APA references are required. Um, I shouldn't have to go over this, but we'll just talk quickly about relevant references. I want to make sure that you are using um, you know, Google Scholar, reputable websites. Um, please make sure that the, the um, references that you are using are, are reputable references. Um, you're limited to three web resources. So you will have to use two either journal articles or you can use a journal and your text as well. Um, so please, you know, think a little bit outside the box here. Um, so to begin accessing scientific journals, I have the Athens State Library linked here, or you can go right to Google Scholar, which is, I, I actually use it all the time. I prefer Google Scholar, especially when you're in a pinch. Um, this here has that you will present during one of the two final face-to-face -face sessions. I'm actually going to remove that. This class used to be face-to-face. And sometimes it is taught in synchronous format. So for our purposes, um, you will only have to present, not to your classmates, but just in a link that you will submit to me for grading. So when the class switches to a different format, I will add that back in. There is a rubric attached, uh, which I will scroll down to in a minute. So you will be presenting your project through a Uja link, um, <clears throat> or you may do YouTube, whatever you prefer. But I need a link that you can share with me, okay? I'm also going to add that YouTube is okay. Um, you will share this with me. Make sure that it is not private. Um, it is very inconvenient when I start to grade and I have to go back and forth with someone to tell them to make their link public. Um, so please make sure that it is not private. Um, when you are completed, you're gonna share this in the submission box. So you go into the course project, there's a place for you to submit there, share your link. Please make sure that the link works, that it is shareable. Make sure that I can hear and see you. If I can't hear and or see you, there will be points deducted. Um, you may also, if you choose to use YouTube and not Yudra, and I can't see you but I can hear your voiceover, that it, that's completely fine. So however you like to do this, you have creative freedom. Okay, 
Here I've noted field experience is not required, but could be helpful when you're completing your project. If you wanted to do something like shadowing an exercise physiologist, personal trainer, physical therapist, etc., that is completely fine. You do not have to do that. Um, but if this is something that you're required to do for another class or um, for your major in health wellness management, that is completely fine if you wish to incorporate anything about that. Okay, so you will be graded on a 10 point scale. You can see the areas down here that you are required to complete. So please make sure that you are hitting all of these major areas in the rubric. Um, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask me at any time. I am available. Again, topics, think outside the box. I'm completely fine with you choosing something different as long as it relates to exercise physiology, okay? Um, I hope that you all have a great day and I will talk to you soon.